Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts, Del Puckett here, and if you're wondering why I'm holding a clock, the reason is simple, it's because I am going to attempt to build a cigar box guitar in less than one hour. Now, I'm not getting started quite yet, as you can see by the time on the clock now, and the climb time on the clock when I actually start will be a little bit different, and the reason being is because I'm going to spend the next 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 hour or whatever cleaning up and getting prepared um, as you can see here i got a fire going on right here and the reason being is because it's cold that's why i'm wearing my hoodie and my bean yeah we got our i forget if it's the second winter here or the third winter but it's bloody cold outside so anyhow let me get um let me get my act together um, and by, by getting my act together, what I mean is I'm going to assemble my parts, get my tools, get all my uh, preliminary setup stuff done. Uh, real quick, before we get started here, so one of my strategies is to do the neck first because I'm going to need the, uh, the time for the glue to dry for the fretboard. And then next will be the uh, the blocks on the inside of the box. And that is, again, because the glue, I want the glue to set up. So that's my strategy. So let me get, a, get, get ahead, go ahead and uh, get cleaned up here. Because this place is a mess here, I'll show you here. It's just an utter freaking disaster. It's a freaking disaster. All right, so let me get, let me get cleaned up and then we'll get started. Okay, I spent the last bit of time cleaning up and then acquiring all the parts I need and trying to organize and strategize and to formulate an idea and uh, make sure that I have all the tools and all the parts that I need. I'll show you all this here in just a little bit, but uh, you know, this is kind of kind of a challenge. And so um, you, you want to um, hedge your bets as best as possible. I made sure I got all the screws, uh, even the hole saw. Um, here, also, let me show you real quick. Definitely need to heat up the soldering iron. I also have the hot glue gun plugged in. Batteries are good on the uh, drills. Found a box and I made sure that I had the hinge. And this is a piece of, of uh, dug fur. And I decided we're gonna be building a 23 inch equal tempered. Now, if I put the saddle here and the hand or the strings on the outside, then I can move these frets down. Whether if I did it more this way, then I could get more frets. But then I have the hinge over here. This is the way I typically build here. But this one here, I want it to kind of stick out the back. I want it to be a little bit smaller instrument. You can see in the past, I put little dots there to kind of indicate where where the fretboard should end. So there's somewhere like right there. And so that's gonna give me plenty of room back here. So I'm just, I'm just, you know, brainstorming here. I found a, I uh, found a knot. I found, I found, I've already got these, these things already pre-made, but the heels and these neck blanks. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, fret wire, template. Ruler, you need a ruler. Here's my fretboard material, it's just a piece of poplar. The tuners, and oh, yeah, the jack, the tuners, and the jack, and the pick. Uh, these are going to be the screws for the back, and these four screws will be the screws for the top. Fortunately, this box already came with well, I, I cut the corners, but. I forgot where I got this. I think I might have got this online. So shout out to the... Thank you guys for the box. Punch. Uh, hammer, string winder, glue. Oh, I need the screws for the neck. The shin tube. All right, so no more messing around. I'm going to give myself five more minutes of, you know, just prep and psych up time whatever and then in fifth and in five minutes we are go we're on the marks get set go 
All right, I don't feel entirely prepared, but it is 20 minutes after eight o'clock. All right, so Sasquatch is gonna keep an eye on the clock for me, and I am just about ready. <sighs> Where am I? I don't feel ready. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna be all chatty chatty in this video, so I apologize up front. I will, I will try to say what I'm doing, and I'll, I'll try to say as little as possible just, to, um, just so I can focus. Ladies and gentlemen, on your marks. Get set. Go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, first things first. Um, glue up the fender, or glue up the heel. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, so I'm going to sand, sand these guys down. This is, the poor, this is the poor man's way of planing or joining this rough a uh, really coarse sandpaper. It actually works really good. <laughs> okay, I already determined that the, the fretboard's gonna go this way. This will be the, the headstock heel here on the back. I already marked where the, the line for the box is gonna be. So I marked that, so I'm gonna go back. On here, I'm gonna do the back angle first before I glue it up. Okay, so where do I want the heel? Right there, right there, all right. See, I didn't think that one. I just looked at it. Where's the edge of the box? Where's the heel? Right there. Boom. Done. No thinking allowed. Pre, um, I'll go ahead and pre-drill it, I guess. I forgot to mention also that I do have the router table set up outside and the table saw. It is in the dark, but I think I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to cut the back angle first, then glue it, and then cut the headstock off, whatever, and then let the glue sit. Let's do that right now. I'm going to use my indoor table saw right there. I got as close as I could. I'm just going to use the Shintu to finish off the task. Okay. Loon screw. The line so I know how far. That's count. Oh no, I, I screwed it to the table, dude. What an idiot. <laughs> All right. Interesting. All right, I accidentally turned off the camera. It's uh, five minutes, four minutes till nine. So I'm like way past the halfway point. Um, I glued the fretboard onto the neck and I secured it with this piece of unistrut. I also 
use this bit and cut out the sound holes, glued all four corners here, boom. And all of these three are tight. This one here is the only one that's not tight. And so I had to put a little clamp on it. So where we are at now is I just use the to drill at the 23 inch spot. So this is gonna be right underneath the saddle. And then using the file, cut a little groove here. Now, if this guy wasn't in here, I could start filing and get my uh, little trench going in here. The other thing I need to do is I need to cut this tail piece off here. So the length of this thing here tells me that I need to cut off. And I started marking it right about right there. So I'll cut that off and then round that off. I'm just buying myself some time to let this thing dry. So cut that off. Best way to do that would be with, we'll cut it with the chainsaw. Giving the dog a bone. Here, Margo, want a piece of wood? Huh? Want a piece of wood? Of course you do. It's nine o'clock and I'm not gonna make it. I need, I need to do a double notch, glue the blocks, Fred, the, Fred put in the tuners, solder it up. Yeah, ain't gonna happen. Hmm. All right, 15 minutes. How much can I get done in 15 minutes? This is what I call the postage stamp method. Shanty. All right, I have to take this off. I don't have any choice. Well, this is one epic fail. It's 10 minutes till 10, and I'm just now getting around to filing the frets. So, tells you how far I am behind. We are going on two hours. It is 10, 16. And I've got this up to this point here where I'm ready to put the piezo in, solder it up, and then maybe do some fret position markers, hinge, saddle, and then we are off to the races. My glue gun's out of ammunition. A piezo, any piezo. This guy here is the nine of clubs.
hot, hot, hot. Beauty, eh? Flux. Solder. Soldering iron. <laughs> See if I can do this left handed. Taking the hot tip out. And let's see here. This guy here, let's go with the um, let's go with the huge big doornail solder burns. Next, I want to put two little eyelets and a nail through it to so keep the strings down right here on the back side of the zero fret. They're made out of pot metal, crap metal. That should be good. We're going to string up with the southbound. These are the um, GDG strings. 44, 34, and 26 wound. So they come in these huge bulk. I just need one. Little finishing nail. I just go through the little, through the little end like that. Well, the time is exactly <clears throat> seven minutes after 11. So do the math. We are. So what hasn't been done is I haven't screwed down the four corners. Um, I haven't sanded entirely or stained it yet. That'll come here in a little bit. Well, 
almost three hours. Five more minutes and it'll be three hours.
All right, we are just over three hours and we are tuned G.